Today I'm going to review the app Brain FM. Uh, I've been a Brain FM customer for almost five years now, and I think it's the best productivity music app out there. And I literally mean every word of it. Uh, I've tried a lot of different apps like um, you know Calm, and I've tried Noisily, and I've tried you know some of those YouTube videos, and I think all of them work. But I think none of them. you know is as effective as brain fm in getting you into focus mode uh you know putting you to sleep you know i've i've tried all of those modes and i'll just kind of get you into that uh this review is just going to be i'm going to structure you i'm just going to share uh the science behind brain fm um and you know of course what is brain fm how much it costs and like what are my favorite features and just give you a little bit of review of you know what it looks like on the web and mobile app all right so brain fm is i mean like just fii you know i'm a solopreneur you know, I, i create a lot of content and you know often times you know i'm working out of a co-working space um you know or you know and, and usually like you know what tends to happen is you know there's a ton of people there you know people you know talking super loudly you know at a we work right and it just becomes hard to concentrate on my work and so usually what i do is i just you know take out my headphones uh and just you know start brain fm focus and boom in 10 minutes i'm like straight into like a state of flow i'm like you know writing you know like a lot of content immediately right and it's not just you know during these times you know uh it's also like when let's say on like a particularly you know lazy afternoon on a work day after lunch and i'm just not in the mood to kind of get working right um i just put on my headphones i put on you know uh the focus music and you know like within 10 15 minutes i have some you know i like i'm already making progress on my work and that's just i mean i don't know how they do it but it just works really really well um and then i think the third tim you know the third thing that i use brain fm for is um you know sometimes i you know have an early morning flight to catch and i need to sleep on time right but let's say at at 10 pm for whatever reason i'm just not you know uh, like i usually sleep pretty late and i'm i'm just not feeling sleepy right um i just put on the brain fm sleep mode and i'm not even kidding like within 10 15 minutes like i start feeling drowsy right and it's a little spooky but it works really really well right uh, and it, it achieves the objective it doesn't mean that i use brain fm um you know every night to get to sleep i don't do that but you know it is handy when you need it right and it's also handy you know if you're let's say just super stressed out right and you know if you just want to kind of you know just take a breather right and meditate right and and you know there's there's a lot of options there as well and and you know the thing is it's not always the same music it's not you know you have a lot of customization and i'll just talk a little bit around that but that's what i've been using brain fm for um the science is so you know a lot of people think that brain fm are uh you know are are, are binaural beats but the, the founders claim it's not really binaural beats binaural beats are essentially you know when you play two different sounds um uh, you know in two years and um it's you know it's not that they've got their own patented uh technology and um i'm going to link to the science band brain fm but uh yeah like they seem to know what um what works and what triggers like brain wave activity based on what music right um and you know you know like they say you know like thing with binaural beats is you know they produce like weak neural synchrony you know um and while you know brain fm uses many methods to kind of make music work um you know well binaural beats is just kind of one technique um all right so let's kind of get in to the app itself all right so you know this is the app you know they you know they have a, a really good iphone app they have a really good android app if you're an android user uh, and they've got a really good web app as well so this is going to kind of give you a little preview of the web app um so when you hit brain fm unlike a lot of other tools it really just you know pops you up with three options that's it that's all you need to focus on right like they don't want you to kind of 
get a little you know how do i say uh, distracted right so uh, you've got the focus mode you've got the relax mode and you've got the sleep mode so the focus mode is you know if you want to get to work uh, you know get get into that focus mode if you you know if you're trying to read and there's just a lot of people just talking close by that can help you um, relaxing is you know if you just want to kind of lounge around uh, you can do that and then sleep is you know you will help you sleep you know fairly simple so let me just go into the focus music um, option so this is what the interface looks like right and it it automatically starts with like a 25 minute uh, music and you can so now there's a lot of things you can do here and i'll, I'll just start with that right so the first is the activity what activity are you doing right now you know sometimes it's, it's a lot of deep hardcore strategy work right and it requires a lot of you know you know demand from your brain right and requires intense focus and you know you know for that you select deep work um then there's like a slightly lower i'd say a medium intense one which is kind of uh you know when you're you know trying to learn something you know or you know you're you're reading something you know maybe a self help book right and you're trying to you know absorb information that's when it works and then the last is creativity you know if you're let's say i don't know trying to you know write a blog post idea or create a linkedin post or you know something else the creativity one works right that's the activity then you've got uh, the genres right uh, and and you know they've got you know like for example so you've got the music genres and then you've got nature and then you can do a little bit of mishmash of both uh, to figure out the best thing that works uh, you know within music they've got you know all of the ones you know that that you know that that you see on youtube or everywhere you know, you've got lofi you've got grooves you've got electronic uh, you know you've got uh, post rock man i mean, i just love post rock uh you know cinematic drone uh, atmospheric right for me like my favorites are usually atmospheric grooves lofi you can you know or you can see i've already selected these here right uh, they just work really well for me but you know it could be something else for you it right? sometimes even cinematic you know orchestra kind of music really works pretty well um while in combination with that like you know sometimes i just you know enjoy the sound of the you know wind you know in the forest right like you know trees uh, i like that i like rain um you know and i i for, you know, and this is i think a recent addition uh, you can actually have chimes and bowls and chimes and bowls are just like you know it's like um yeah it's just like a singing bowl you know just doing like a light uh sound and it works really well for me right so uh, bottom line is you can basically choose between you know any of these genres do a mishmash see what works uh and the interesting thing is that you know if you like something right like if there's a particular sound that works for you you can actually put it in your favorites and then you know you can reuse it again and again and they have like a huge library um you know like there's there's always something going on um and then i think the last thing is which is really about the neural effect so you know when you listen to the sound it's not just the atmospheric and the and the beats that this is where kind of like the patented technology come in where there's kind of like this background sound act i don't know how to describe it or make it sound i'll just seem like a, a very foolish person but uh, yeah i mean th- th- there's this thing which is kind of like the trigger thing which is which is what gets you into that focus right and you can actually choose between low effect medium effect and high effect right um uh, and you know conversely that, that's what it uh, i mean you know and it will kind of get you those results um yeah so i mean like this is essentially it you can you know like i said you know work around you know try different things what works i usually try um you know creativity or deep work with you know either lo-fi grooves or atmospheric like i said usually with low effect you know it just seems to work pretty well for me um if you go into the music right uh, you can even go a little bit further right like so within like focus music you can you know even choose to you know listen to some acoustic right uh, sometimes you can you know, you can listen to your favorite so you can see here you know i've got a particular rainforest low neural effect sound that works for me and another atmospheric medium one that had a really good effect i wrote a really good blog post at that time right so you could potentially try that um you know and, and it, it also kind of gives you um you know what mood it, it 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 triggers you know like is it like an optimistic chill dream like track 
uh, what instruments you know have been used so i mean it just you know it's pretty good like these are useful features but ultimately it's the music and how it helps me get to that point and you can also listen to your recent tracks just you know if there's a track that you like i don't know two days back you can just go back there in case you forgot to favorite it right um the last thing which is i think something they added like a year ago is you know you can basically have a timer right so you can either listen to this music infinitely which rarely happens you know for me like you can you can either run it you know forever until you stop it or you can have an interval timer right like um kind of like maybe like pomodoro right like 25 minutes 55 minutes right you can do that and then uh you know it can it can basically just you know um you know like you know there's kind of like a notification sound that you know comes right before uh your 25 minutes are going to get over so you can know that you know i can box you can boss it sorry you can box your tasks within that 25 minutes and know while listening to that music that you know you're kind of coming near to that 25 minute length um you can also have you know custom timers you know if, if 30 minutes one hour two hours whatever it takes sometimes you're in a flight and you know you just want like two and a half hours of like nice sleep you can you can do that sometimes you just want like six hours of amazing sleep you can do that as well and then the last thing is you know which is pretty awesome is um you know you can you can actually start showing quotes right so you know like you can see here there's a quote from uh you know the Lai Lama and I think you can also add custom quotes I have to check on that but whatever like I think these quotes are super helpful um and this interface is super nice one thing that I forgot to add here was that you can actually download uh, your tracks, uh, you know, if you have the mobile app. So, you know, let's say, you know, like I was saying in an airplane, you won't really have the internet uh, unless you kind of go for that super expensive Wi-Fi uh, that's on the plane, right? Um, you can you can actually, you know, download that and basically use Brain FM uh, offline as well, you know, depending on what track and, you know, do that so i think that works pretty well um let's just kind of go back now to the um to the other tracks right so i'm just gonna go here i'm gonna go to relax now okay um so similar interface right you, know, you can choose uh it's yeah it's pretty nice um so you can choose you know like i said you know what music you want uh, you know, you can, you know, basically, again, try out different genres, you know, different activity, like, you know, do you want to recharge, do you want to chill? And then the last thing, if you want any unguided meditation, which is pretty awesome, right? Like, you know, if that's, you just want five minutes of you know mindfulness, uh, there's some very good tracks in there that'll just allow you to do that. Um, and yeah, I mean, like, this is it. Brain FM used to have guided meditation. I'm not sure if they do right now, but you know, sometimes they have this assisted meditation where, uh, you know, somebody speaks and basically guides you to do that. I used to really like that. Uh, I don't know why they removed it, but um, yeah, I don't see that these days. Um, and then uh, let's go um, to the last one, which is sleep. Okay. Um, so again, with the sleep, you have all sorts of options, right? If you want, oops. All right. If you want deep sleep or you want a power nap, which is pretty awesome, right? Like uh, sometimes you just want to go into like you know if you're going on a you know cross you know uh, cross country transatlantic uh, journey on the on the plane, deep sleep probably works. Sometimes you just want like a nap to you know wake up to uh, great ideas or, or whatever. Then the power nap works pretty well. Um, again, you know, like I said, all of these tracks work uh, fairly well. And that's it. You know, I mean, like it's it's a pretty simple app to use. Like I don't think there's a lot to explain here. I'll just kind of take you through the accounts, right? Um, um, yeah. I you know you can basically have animations and you can see your you know whatever it looks like um you know uh, like whatever your offline tracks are and everything and i'll just give you a little bit of a preview of the um iphone app as well right so very similar you, know, you can see here um you can choose focus relax sleep meditate right there's a 
there's a fourth option. So obviously, I think Brain FM is probably meant to be used on on the phone, even though their web app is pretty good. Uh, and then you know you have a lot more options within mobile. You know, like now you can see the meditate option. Which is pretty interesting, right? Uh, and then you know you've got more focus uh, options to choose from. Um, and then yeah, you know you can you can choose accordingly. So yeah, I mean that's and to be honest, the the app is pretty great. So I think that works. Now coming to Brain FM pricing, right? So uh, I was a very very early user. You know, I started using Brain FM when it was launched in the first year. So they actually gave, excuse me, they actually gave me a lifetime uh, deal at that time. Uh, unfortunately, that deal stopped like four years ago so there's not uh anything there but it's actually not that expensive so right now uh you know you can get brain fm for like seven dollars a month or fifty dollars a year makes sense to get a fifty dollars a year one and you get um you know a much higher discount you know as, as you can see here for seven dollars a month you'll probably pay you know like 84 you know dollars a year while with the annual plan it's 50 dollars right so um it's a good 30 40 percent discount um yeah and then you know i mean it's pretty straightforward easy to use their support team's great you know if at all you need anything but it's it's mostly like a you know set and forget it kind of thing you know you you sign up for the subscription and i can guarantee you like and I, I don't use the word guarantee lightly but i've been using this for five years and it just it works really really well you know like uh i've always been able to get into focus music like i mean like i can share some exam you know more examples right like sometimes i'm just blocked on what to write you know i i write a lot of blog posts i have a blog um and i'm just blocked i i don't know what's going to come out right and i start the focus music and you know somehow like within 10 15 minutes i'm just like writing stuff down right and that would not have been the case with brain fm right so i think for like five six dollars a month like i think it's totally worth it you know it, it definitely makes you more productive and uh and yeah that's it so i mean you know feel free to try out brain fm you can try it out through my link and you you can actually get this um at even cheaper price i think 20 percent more discount on the annual plan I talked to the Brain FM founders and negotiated a deal for you guys, right? Um, and uh, so you can basically try that out as well. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this Brain FM review and you know, stay subscribed to my channel. You know, I post a lot of reviews and hope you have a wonderful day.